it is time for us to speak of God's goodness and declare his wonders among his people. It is time for testimonies. Hallelujah. First, we'll be going on with the online testimonies. And should you be watching online anywhere from all over the nations of the earth, please go to www.rccg.org and click on testimony and keep posting your testimonies. Now tonight is time for online testimonies. First from the online testifiers is Assistant Pastor Titilayo Patient Ogunko from Nigeria. She was diagnosed of cancer of the uterus in December 2022 and it was life threatening. She prayed using the anointed handkerchief prayed on by our daddy Gio. The cancer, God miraculously healed the cancer, the cancer disappeared. She is completely whole. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The next is Brother Ayomide Ubikita from the United Kingdom. His daughter suffered from seizures, which was diagnosed as epileptic episodes. The family wrote a letter to Daddy Gio and got a response from her daddy that they will testify to the glory of God. The epileptic episode has stopped completely. Let someone shout hallelujah. Right now, we'll be taking the on-site testimonies from the live testifiers. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Afola Shade Adepojo. In 2015, I got married and myself and my husband, we have been looking for the fruit of the womb. So in 2018, I was at the viewing center during daddy's birthday. And daddy said that he asked the Lord that whatever anybody asks for his birthday gift, that the Lord should give it unto them. Then I ran to the viewing center at the front of the viewing center. I said, Lord, please give me just one of your babies. My husband said he's going to call the baby Tinyi Niolua. That same month, 2018 in March, I conceived Tinyi Niolua. Ademi de now sin adekwaju. And the Lord had another one again. The doctor said the baby cannot stay in my womb because I have a multiple fibroid. But the Lord did it for me. The baby grew, the fibroid melted with Holy Ghost and Ketchup. And I gave that to my baby successfully. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Brother Benga Ede Yoku from Lagos Province 27, Region 19. In 2018, I noticed that I was stolen blood. By 2020, I traveled to the U.S. to see my son. It was so intense and so terrible. But I was believing God and I was going, I mean, I was following the open heaven every day. Believing God, following the... Uh, anointing services that were conducting online, praying and with other men of God. By the time I returned, I thought that was the end, but it was not the end. But glory be to God, by September this year, 2023, it was so intense, so, 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 so intense that it became worrisome to me. Worrisome in the sense that those situations that I assume trigger the flow, the flow of the blood in me, they were not there, yet I was bleeding. But thank be to God, our daddy last month on the altar, 
He said, my father asked me to tell somebody here that the bleeding has stopped. I jumped up and I shouted, Amen, Amen, Amen. He heard my voice and he said, congratulations. He said it two times, congratulations, congratulations. Before that third of November, I was to undergo a test, endoscopy test in a, in a clinic on the 7th. By the time I did the test, what they could only find was that it was a healing ulcer. As a matter of fact, they were not satisfied. They asked me to go further for biospy test. I did it. I told all was okay. I give thanks to God who makes me to be alive today, who spoke the word of truth through my father in the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Mrs. Abioye. Uh, this testimony, I supposed to have given it for a long time, but I didn't. Yesterday night when our daddy said uh, there are some who have, uh, whom the Lord has given testimony to, to give, they didn't give. I said I will give my own. Uh, it happened about my eyes, the two eyes, having cataracts. And I was to go for surgery. And I went to our daddy, Daddy Joe, to pray for me. He prayed for me and said he didn't want any repairing of the eyes, but he wanted new eyes. I, I, I claim it. When I got to the hospital at Ireland, Lagos, I was in the surgery room. They have started that surgery quite, quite all right. They have started on it. But at a time, the light was just off like that. And they don't know what to do again. They didn't know. They were running extra scatter, the nurses, the doctors. They didn't know what they can do. But at a time, the light just came up like that itself without touching it. And I, I, it occurred to me that, yes, but your daddy requested for new eyes for you. It may be the time that, I, that your Lord is preparing for the new eyes that made the light to go off. Then I say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, they continue on it, but uh, they did it, and the operation was successful. I praise the name of the Lord. I used uh, glasses for some time, but now I don't use any glasses. I can read either big or small nose now. I can read without glasses. I praise the name of the Lord. The second, the, the second testimony, the second testimony, one is fine. The second testimony, uh, yesterday night, uh, when we were leaving for the program, I used to produce an ice block, and we put on our machine for the ice block. Then when we came back, we have seen that the ice block has thrived, has been, has been blocked to, together. Then we decided to, uh, to, to put off the light, and at 4 o'clock, we said, we will put it on again. Then, at 4 o'clock, the woman who was living with me was the one who came out. He did, she didn't put on his slippers. She came out like that and wanted to put, off, put on the machine. The, he was, she was shocked. She, she told me that he was shocked from the leg, even to her intestine. She now cried out that people uh, uh, inside came out to rescue her. I thank God that she didn't die like that. Uh, his people is from Bayesta. I don't know who, where I would have been by now, but I thank God that I didn't go into the custody of police or something like that. I praise the name of the Lord. I return all glory unto God. Amen. Let's... 
Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Assistant Pastor Emmanuel Adiemo from Rivers Province, Siri, Region 33 in Port Harcourt, in River State. On 19th of November, Sunday, we were dedicating a baby. After the dedication, the woman was sharing testimony. She was standing beside the altar sharing her testimony. Suddenly, she fell down. She threw away the baby. Before we rush her, the teeth has stood together and life has gone out of the woman. We started calling upon the God of Adeboye, every member, minister, and all our way, we shall we started praying. We, member of Redeem, we started calling upon God of Adeboye, God that named the Redeem Christian Church of God. Don't put us to shame. And after we have done that for about an hour, the woman came back to life, speaking in tongues. Let hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Mrs. Omolola Amo from Region 42 or your province 3. I've come to return all the glory back to our God, the one who answers prayers. The Lord bless us in our family with six girls. And uh, the journey started since uh, about 17 years ago. The first one did not have any child at all. And we just thought it's a small thing until we discovered that all of them had no child. And it came to a state that the first one did IVF three times, but no results. We wrote a letter to our daddy in the Lord, and he, re he replied, he sent a text to us that you will soon share testimonies. So to the glory of God, the one that waited for 11 years is now having two children. And all of them like that, they are now carrying their children. And the boy that we had at last, to all of them, they are now having their children. This is an evidence of the grandchildren that God gave unto us. Shout hallelujah! Let somebody who is being repositioned tonight shout it out to us, hallelujah! I want to bless the name of the Lord and return the glory to him for his grace and mercy upon my life. And I want to thank him for giving me um, a 10th wedding anniversary today. It happened in 2011, precisely on Tuesday, 27th of December, that I went to church at Lake where I worked then for Bible study. Uh, suddenly I, fell, I slumped in church and was taken to hospital where doctors said, that I was not going to live again, that the chances were 50-50. But to God be the glory, I was transferred from that hospital, from Lakey to Agege area. And um, from that 27th of December, I came back to life on the 6th of January, the following year, which was 2012. And I discovered that there were two handkerchiefs on my body, one on my neck and the other one on my leg, which I asked where they were from, and they said they were from Momijio. Sent, uh, they were brought by my the then mo mother in the Lord, area mommy, mommy Bola Ak uh, Akilabi. So that was how I jacked back to life. The medical doctor in the hospital, the owner of the, the hospital, came to my ward and said, Pastor Patrick, you are owing me. And I told him, I've not been discharged. What am I owing you? And he said that the two handkerchiefs will not be taken away, that I must leave them in the hospital with them. I want to return all glory to God because beside that they said I was not going to live again, that I will not be able to walk. I am walking. They said I will not be able to have children. I've dedicated three to God be the glory, which I will bring them to this altar. May the name of the Lord be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In a moment, can we just stand to our feet and chorus, thank you, Jesus, for these multiple testimonies. Cancer disappearing with anointed handkerchief. Anointed letter restoring back life. The God of our daddy Gio bringing back life. Shout thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Lord Jesus we thank you. The God of the redeemed Christian church of God we appreciate you. The God of our father daddy Gio we bless your holy name. Thank you, thank you, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.